Hello, and welcome to the Dol Ambroth campaign. This is Captain Total Waffle speaking, and we are happy today. Did you hear that? We're happy, 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 because we are shutting Mordor down. They're very close to having lost everything west of the Anduin, and of course that is a position in which we want to be in a very new future. So, battle plans must be drawn up. Logistical designs brought to fruition. We have troops moving in to Western Skiliath, and Western Skiliath will be the focal point for the creation of a new army that will essentially storm Emnit. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be good. And in the meantime, Minas' Ithil will just continue to be a thing. Um, because, well, we have it now. And we also have troops coming to reinforce that, and so... It is not unlikely that within a reasonable time frame, we will have kicked everybody away from this little fort, and we will take that too. And at that point, we can just start uh, hollowing out Mordor from the inside. It's going to be good. It's going to be lovely. It's so beautiful, I almost cried. Anyway, uh, we also have Istion here in the south, moving toward Krokmahur, where he will be joining forces with a lot of lovely lads. And um, he's going to be moving on Kazukum. Not content with that though, in Korondash, we have troops just moving together. Prince Atrahil the Fearless did uh, have a minor setback uh, on his own account, but he is, re regardless, putting together an army that will essentially be the ultimate demise of Sturlat Sakand. This is the future that we are bringing into existence, and I cannot wait to see it come to fruition. Let's see if we can build a nice little tower here. Near there, thank you. So we have a little bit more of a leg up on any army coming along here. We don't want to be taken by surprise, now do we? No. And Khan's armies, you know, they, they can move quite far in a single turn. Speaking of that, let's bring about a new turn. Oh dear, hello. Apparently some Nazgul are coming. And uh, they're bringing with them a lot of friends. But so far, all they're sending is this trifle. Okay, we'll, we'll just... We'll just throw them out. It's not going to be a big trouble, I think. But, um... Hmm. That doesn't mean that there is nothing to be worried about. Okay, they don't have any big armies near here. Yet. Ganaltan is getting out of dodge, though. You know, he's sort of uh, wisely moving... Out of the fray. <laughs> um, yes, please. Cavalry for retraining and more troops for retraining. It's gonna be lovely. Um, oh, yes, and more troops also for retraining. It's gonna be good. In fact, we can even take this cavalry that I put there and we can put them in Kyandros instead because we can retrain them there too. Weapons are so many in so many locations these days. It's a lovely thing. Ah, hello Mordor. What brings you here? Nothing good, clearly. Okay, uh, we'll get back to you guys after these messages. Uh, messages of development and prosperity. Yes, indeed. Let's get some uh, growth to this place. Umbard. Hmm, nice lodgings. Very good. Very nice. I like it. Um, Ardmir, chicken farming. Quite nice. I mean, growth just means more taxes. Keldun, also developing. And Thoros. Taking one step at a time in good directions. We should also get a dockyard here, but I am pretty happy about getting the princess stables. So, yeah, yeah, we will want to grow this place. But the thing is, it might actually be upgradable pretty soon, so we don't need to rush our decisions here. We'll take stock at how the situation with the population is in uh, four turns. Fainabel, nice lodgings. Well, that's going to lodge something in my... Lovely, lovely consciousness because we're about to get Knights of the Silver Swan in there.
Now we have some armorers. But do we want to armor everybody right now? It's gonna take a while, and we really also want to get Atrahil moving. <gasps> ah, great beasts. How lovely. Okay. Hmm, thinking, thinking, thinking. How do we best um, get around those, I wonder? Maybe the best thing is just to get Atrahil around them, and then we'll allow them to waste themselves upon our settlement. Maybe that is the best thing to do. Hmm, thinking, thinking, thinking. Choo, choo, choo. We'll definitely want the Princess Stables and Minas Tirith, and, um... So that, maybe... Uh, armorers, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We have two spies there. We should also get a library. I mean, come on. We are men of learning, after all. Tier Ithraid. Similar situation. Okay. Hmm. What should you get? Well, you have quite a way to go until you get um, to the next population target, but we also want some trade. I mean, economic development is really going to be a nice thing for this region. And then after that, we can sort of move into strengthening our population growth. Yeah, a cattle farm would be nice. We'll see what uh, life is like after that. And Isengard's the strongest faction. Aww. Well, it's bound to happen eventually. My lord. By your command. Orders. My lord. As you wish. So, Lagov needs to be crushed, and to be fair, so does Yagduf. We're going to take him first. Because we can. In these hills, we have found friends. They're over there. Let's go greet them. Some of them must be hiding. So we'll just uh, move a bit until they get a move on themselves. Oh, hello, there they go. Alright. Smash. 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 Fly forward. And Black Rogue Archers smashed. Oh, but there was a maulers there, and so they have mauled a few. It happens. Oh! There we go, Yagduf is down. Continue like this, we will smash the enemy. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. And smash them. Kaboom. Yeah, that ought to break them. Good, good. And, um, the yep. Everybody's the running. And run them down. Very nice. The ones that are over here, not sure we can reach those. But these, yeah, they're gone. Nice. Yeah, let's just end the battle here. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Not too many losses at all. Goodbye, Mordor. And may you never return. What else? Well, hmm. Yeah, conversion and Kalanad. Coming slowly, coming slowly. Bit by bit. Morsel by morsel. 
Um, right, but we do have quite a lot of pikemen over here in Kaandros. So one wonders. Yes, really, one does. If we shouldn't already grab dear old Branon and this lovely troop of guys and throw them together. It's going to be so good, you all. Maybe these pikemen want to join too. If they can be retrained and where... We'll see, we'll see. But either way. On you go. Let us sit up camp here. Ready your weapons. And so to Ist Emnet Let us sit up camp. we travel My Lord. swiftly and assuredly. Approaching. Hello, Entwade. And of course, they have bloody beasts. Captain of Gondor. So we may need a little bit of help. Well, we do have we do have our marines, but we only have one of them. It's not that one is as good as none, but it would be nicer to have more. So maybe we simply should bring along these as well. It'll just take another turn for them to be retrained. But it's only one point of armor. Yeah, and their melee attack would be improved. That's not really what we have them for though, so let's just bring them along. So, yeah. That should be enough. And then troops from Escalith. Ready to rumble. And man, are they ready. Okay. I'm gonna stick well this oh. They go into the fort of Keradongal. Well, I suppose we do have remedies for this particular situation. Beginning the siege. The siege goes as planned. Duron or Amandir? Well, ah, let's go with Duron. My lord. Orders. My lord. Orders. My lord. Your will, my lord. We'll bring along. Your will, my lord. Ah, not the Umrothian archers. The Athenian rangers are a free upkeep there. It's interesting. Let's bring out these guys. Then these 40 marines can make their way back to Ostafil. We can have retraining done in Hadanur of additional ones. Yeah, it seems solid. Keyword might be seems. Orders. By your command. But if Ishtarak decides to do anything stupid, then we do have spare forces here in Henetanun. And in the fort over here. We could even send them to Minas still too, or over to Avalir. You know what, let's just make a big break for it. Duron, you're going to get an army and you're going to smack up this fort. So what do they have? They have some archers, they have some pikes, they have some lighter infantry with axes and they have ballister crews. Um, two of them. I would not want to be them. But they could, if they really wanted to, mount a pretty deadly defense with those siege weapons. Our chief aim is to make sure they do not. Let them have it, 
Welcome to Kedadongal, everybody. It's right there. And do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna march up like we just don't care, and we're going to make them burn. Bit by bit. Oh, interesting. The siege crews are first in line, and their infantry is such a distant second that I'm considering that once the gate is down, we may want to, um... put in a bit of a cavalry assault. Hmm. Let me just increase the screen brightness a little bit. Actually, not the screen brightness, I'm going to the gr graphical brightness. Because then it'll also work for you guys. Mordor can be a little dark. So here we go. The gates are there we are. Very good. Then... Oh. They're actually reacting to it. Well, if that's the reaction, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to blast them. With archers and all that good stuff. <clears throat> oh, okay, we're currently just shooting at the wall. Not the best. Okay. And now they're hurling things at us too. How bloody nice of them. Well, I know when I'm not wanted. You know, apparently we have a little bit of um, a high casualty kind of uh, mission for everybody. This means... We're going to make good use of our most valuable foot soldiers. So, did I say most valuable? I, I, I meant least valuable. Because of course you guys are the creme de la creme. We will not compromise you. And meanwhile we'll just bombard them all those a bit. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. Very nice. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Okay. Like Hit the gun for him where it hurts. And when they're down, we can probably start pressuring them for real with cavalry and the like. But they seem un unwilling to allow their balancer crews to actually fire upon the troops we have just uh, sent in to their ranks. Our troops are pretty tired now, but that's just the nature of fighting in Mordor, guys. That's, um, yeah. I'm terribly sorry, it's just the state of things. Eat them up, my friends. Hack them down. Let them feel the valiant steel of the Dunedain. Well, the descendants of the Dunedain, really. By the blood of our people. Okay. Now we go in with the cavalry too. Lost half their men. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Da -da 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 -da. Very nice. Very good. Let's 
So we lost a bit of our infantry, but apart from that, I see no problems. Eighty-one footmen, twenty-three spearmen. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. And then in comes the Knights of the Silver Swan, killing ninety, losing one. Yeah. It was the initial push that hurt a little bit. But these are some of our more retrainable units. So we can be okay with that. In we go. Joran has no fear. Well, good for him. Um... We'll send a couple back. Eventually, retraining will be available to them, but not yet. For now, though, we have definitely left a little blue mark on the land. That's good. That's good. That's very good. Now, we could get together a few distinguished gentlemen and uh, take on the threat that Ishrak formerly pro uh, poses. Should it be a little bit of a a general affair? Eh? Maybe. I'm tempted to do this. It's a bit silly. But let's do it. And let's also bring in the Knight of Tirithaya. So, Isthrak. You strange person. Come this way and where I can see you. I have a hundred troops and they're all gagging to get to you. Today's mission is simple. Alanel wants to give the enemy back rubs. And it is our duty to deliver. Because of course, Dol Amroth delivers. <laughs> now what do they have? They have some armor piercing archers and the temple marksmen. We want to nullify those. They have two cavalry units that are pretty good. Well, one of them plays host to the general. It's the Kandish Lancers. And then they have some halberdiers whom we shall leave till last. So, first target is for our knights. Our lovely little maces, as it were, to do some wonderful work with the Variac Lancers. We want to engage them with such timing that we can also take up some Temple Marksmen with a cavalry charge, whilst deal, uh, having our bodyguard units deal with the Inaz Rim. So, I think it's time we run toward them and let them know our true intentions. Take up the marksmen before they get too many rounds off. Boom, ba -dum, boom. Okay, so far so good. We've lost a few in battling the lancers in this way. But so far it's actually going okay. And the Knights of the Tirithaya are of course relatively replaceable. And boom ba boom boom boom. There go the Lancers. Um, how are we doing here? Well you're getting embroiled with some halberdiers and that is less than desirable. Um, the man himself, wherever he is. Where is he? Is he dead? No, surely not. Hmm. 
Where is he? Where is he? I'm beginning to feel for Adonel. Oh, of course, there he is. Yeah. He just uh, intervened in the inner room on the way. Okay. Which should make him pretty safe, actually. In relative terms. Yeah, the Lancers don't have long... Alright, they're beginning to get nasty. Okay, get away from them. That's Ishrak down. Very nice. And Aranel is still there. He is the most important figure on the field, of course. Alright. Now they don't want us to hurt their marksmen anymore. So the inner you know, rim are charging through. Uh, let's try to maneuver our cavalry so as to make it uh, less susceptible to that kind of charging. Oh, they blow the horn once again. But they're just not quick enough. Right. Um, now we have the opportunity to get the Inner's Rim down for the count. And the Halberdiers are leaving the archers behind. Ow. And our swan guard has good reason to celebrate now. Very good, very, very, very encouraging, yeah. Good. So, Duron, shall and Aranel, shall we test your v durability? Your endurance? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the marksmen are down now. Okay. I think we can uh, just run a little bit. Get away from those nasty, nasty halberdiery dies. May he who has the finest stamina land the first blow. The enemy are badly bloodied. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Behold, and there they go. They don't like being surrounded very much, those guys. The enemy are <laughs> utterly vanquished. This is a great victory worthy of only the mightiest of generals. And the Knights of Teratayar are indeed the ones to heal. Good. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. They are gone from these lands. And Adonel is now aggressive. Go back to Minas Tirith and uh, keep aggressing then, my dear. Um, my dear man. My good man. <laughs> Jordan. Head to your fort. Come on, dear. To Minas Tirith you go and come and... 
back to Eastern Skidiath. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Your will, my lord. Yes. And we can find retraining at Candros for the Knights of Terrathire. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Could hardly be better. Angabor, come this way. Can you be retrained in Lin here anytime soon? In two turns. Yes, that is pretty soon. I'll take that. And the Seaward Lancers will be retrainable. Yeah, at the same time, it seems. Then we have cavalry over here that will come to us. Gideoth. The infantry will also get there. They'll just go on their own speed because they're a bit slower in the uptake. <laughs> um, Fandwilond, yes. Shall we get some pikemen from you guys? Yes, 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 we shall. Kandros is the way. And Metras. Hmm. The Silver Swan Knights will be retrainable any moment now. Any turn now. Um, and Eorthorn has become quite adept, at, at least on the surface level, with his acumen and the like. So, I think we're going to tell him quite soon to go somewhere with it. And there are different paths one could uh, choose in this respect. We could decide to send him west over to these lands to sort of help keep a resurgent Isengard and check. Though Brandir is seemingly doing a decent job of it. Oh, what's this? Lon Anglin held by Gondor. Man, how far up do they stretch? Oh my god, they're advancing into Enedwyth territory. That is... I mean, that's enough progress to almost make me call them wreck... Reckless. <laughs> yeah, positively reckless. Yes, my lord. Let's just have a brief look while I sip some tea here. Um. Yeah, it seems that their respite from fighting Gondor... Uh, has really done them good. It's very hard to make out, but they do indeed have a lovely little line going up here. The trend is positive and moving only in one direction. <sighs> That's not a criticism of their music taste either. No. That's just a trend line. Right, we have some Lasanic Axemen that need to go somewhere. Could go to Kassast for a training. Mm -hmm. um, how about Minas Tirith? Where do we have them? Don't we have any Lasana Gaxman to be at that capacity here? No, we don't. So, why am I looking at that particular place then? Hmm. Black Reveal Archers. Where you can be retrained, please. Um, and let's see. Oh, yeah. No, no, they can't be retrained here. Um, cast that then. In a turn or two. And the Benner Marines. By your hmm. Yeah. We should probably send you somewhere else. Yes. We're going to send you to Pelagir. I think. Send them to Pelagir. As you wish. My lord. Captain of Gondor. Your will, my lord. Yes. My lord. Wonderful. Okay. Let's have a look at the south. The southern regions. By your command, your will, my lord. As ordered. Yes. March to re protect the blood of is the honors moving? Chelkar is just still standing. Building a guard barracks, it'll get increasingly hard for them to attack the place. Arash is coming in with a bunch of cavalry. Well, okay. Interesting. 
in the end it will all come crashing down. Okay. Juggernaut. What a strange name for you. Anyway. Let's see if we can win this. Yay! Okay. So we won that. We can retrain the troops that are in there. And wait for the next turn to come upon us. Some retraining here is also happening to include numbers, so, um, you know. I'm partial to that particular development. Do we have weapons guild? We do have weapons guilds. So, this cavalry could also benefit greatly from retraining, and more so than the squires, I would say, at least. They are troops we would rather have with us on the long haul. So that is how we shall allocate. Now, the good thing about this is we have we actually have some Ballister crews. And with all the cavalry vested in us, I think we can have a very good time with those people over there. Okay, hmm. Yeah, it should be enough to deal with them. To war then! So, let's see what they have. Inspected and with some degree of thoroughness. They have mercenaries, they have beasts, they have windrise and and they have cataphracts. So, they have some of the most deadly cavalry in the game. They have beasts and then they have some, you know, some, some guys with sharpened sticks. Well, I suppose sharpened sticks is a decent description for almost any weapon. When you get right down to it. For now, though. Juggernaut, we're going to negate your main advantage. Yes, my lord. Preparing the men to attack. And we're going to do that with balusters. Yes. We don't have many archers. But that's okay. That's not what we're going to be using most of all. Okay, we have quite a lot of cavalry, so... We're going to form them up. Into a couple different units here. One unit on the left, one unit on the right. Unit of each threes, of course. And we'll keep a general melee line back here. Ready to respond. So, yeah, just uh, shoot at them until they come close enough. With the beasts for it, of course. Yeah, now they should be close enough. So far, so good. Ready for orders, sir. Commandos. Soldiers of Gondor. Soldiers of Gondor. Oh, that hit straight through. Come on. Okay, reload, reload. Yes! Another, please. Oh, yeah! Oh, they don't like it. <laughs> okay, and the cataphracts are coming for a cavalry. Okay, yeah, yeah, what's new? And here, they're coming for a cavalry too, and we can't run away from those guys, but we can scare them, apparently. Oh! They don't like to be charged by the Lancers. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Um, so, what's happening here? Well... 
It's a bit of a game of cat and mouse, I suppose. Okay, footman. Go in. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Okay, the Talon Knights will bear the brunt of a pretty smashing charge. But we will assist them. And over here, the Wind Riders are canned. Well, they will be met with all the fury we can muster. General flees like ha! the coward he is. Press onward. Break the spirit of his arm. Beautiful. Alright, then there's only the infantry left. And uh, it's not gonna last very long because now the sil the swan is coming and yep, they don't like that. They don't like it at all. Alright. Well, if we can just uh, swat those beasts. You guys can sort of stand down. What are you doing? No! <laughs> Basically we're just running them down for experience at this point. Archers, are you shooting at beasts? Surely you're not, so don't shoot at anything. Oh no! What is that? Batters the bolts going where they shouldn't be. Okay. And over here, we've actually managed to catch a lot of the cataphracts. Hard to argue with those results. This is a clear victory. Very, very good. Very good. Goodbye, Canned. Your will by the orders. By your command. Apparently you can't. Ha ha ha. My lord. Karandash, uh, how good is your culture? Actually, it's pretty good. We'll check back in two turns to see if we have uh, hit the 75% mark that we want to. Ah, you know what? We're going to build a library first. A library first, because otherwise this building is just going to be... Useless. Um, and useless is the last thing we want it to be. Yeah. Uh, Rash. Slay them! Gondor is victorious! Protect the blood of Numenor! Smack Slay them. The of A bit more costly than I wanted it to be, but, you know, that's life sometimes. Awaiting your command. Essentially, Istion will be there to take over governorship of Kruk Maur. Hmm. Pikemen coming in. Good, good, good. They will then go to wherever they will be needed at the time. Yeah, we can also send these to Umbrun. Wonderful. Wonderful indeed. The only thing that could have been better is if we had, if uh, Dwinir had become a general. But apparently the council didn't see fit to make that happen. So. La la la. Military power politics, blah blah blah. Oh hello, Crimp. Okay, so you're going to stick me with that beast, are you? Hmm. Okay. Well, my ballista crews may have something to say about that. Should we build siege works in Castast? You know what? Actually, yes. Let's do that. Let's get some trebuchets in here. That would be lovely. Okay. 
because we're going to be assaulting some pretty big fortresses. We're going to be dealing with beasts and all that. So yeah, yeah, trebuchets are good. Trebuchets are good. Um... Linear, uh, yeah, you're training what you should be. Yeah, I think we went through this entire area, so all is well. All is well. Another turn, then. Now, would you look at who's come to play? It's Isengard who want to trade with us. Well, if you're gonna trade with us, you're gonna part with some of your cash 1800 to be exact. No, we will not accept such a thing. Okay. We have, uh, well, let's see where. No. Our thoughts seem pointless. Okay, then. We may have to back up our claims then. But we'll see. I'm not too worried about that. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Jellica is under attack. But they have pikemen and uh, plenty of defenses, so I'm not too worried. It's gonna be fine. That's gonna be good. They can attack us any day. Bride presented, Mithrast gets weapons, and oh yes, let's get some uh, weapons for training down at Tal Jav. Oh, that'll be good. That'll be very good. So, Mithrast. Clump, clump. And then we also get the Silver Swan. Yay! With weapons and everything. You know, this makes it very tempting to just send everything through Mithrast now. <laughs> because they also have the Numenorian Armour. Hmm. But of course, I mean, anyone who will be coming in through here will also be going to Western Asgillius, so... At the end of the day, that's where they all end up, and that's fine too. Works with the same magic, you know? Works the same magic. Mm. Oh, hello, see what Lanza's. Speaking of. <laughs> Kandras. Yeah, you're training what you can. Yes. And the Minas Tirith. Yay! Not that it's a lot, but it's something. And then, Jordan the Fearless. Let's get you out on the road. Because you have somewhere to be. It could be Ur Estelad, actually. And looking at this... Yeah, I am indeed very tempted to uh, make the annexation of this place a reality. Ah, oh, the armorer is coming for Kyandros. Good, good, good. Very, very nice. Shall the cars besieged? Fair is fair. My lord. By your your will, my lord. As you wish. Retraining here, retraining there. These folks are ready to move out. Oh, we can also train some new ones. Your will, my lord. And then Branon. Come along, dear friend, come along. Let us set up camp here. Orders. As you wish. In Altburg, the situation is interesting. We don't quite have the culture to put up a prince's stables at the moment, but we could choose either. We have a spy here. Yeah. Let, let's get a library going, then we build an armor, and then we see where we are. Maybe then we'll do. After that, I'm just toying with the idea. Maybe we'll do um, a royal hall and the prince's stables. Yeah, seems good. 
And Brannon will just event every once in a while, just to go ahead of the crew and build some towers here and there. It's in everybody's interest, isn't it? And Kalanad. Mm, 32%. Okay, let's build a university. Because universities are good. An armorer, and then we get into all the higher recruitment level stuff. Pelagir, yeah, you're good. Isn't good as you got that one? We've got that covered. Nice, nice, nice. And Kagmir. Your markets, your trade, it's all very, very good. And it's going to be even better. We can let you be on this particular build train for a little while. Plenty of stuff we can build before we upgrade the settlement. And with the library in Karandash, I am confident that the light night's lodgings will be built and it'll just jumpstart a whole new period of wonderful recruitment in the south. Ambrun? Hmm. Yeah, let's let's bring in some cavalry. And Kalanhad, yeah, you got the school. Aldburg, you got yeah, you got your garrison building. Which is very nice. It's very good. Thelen, can you retrain? Ah, Knights of Thelen. Very good. Very nice. Linear. Ah. Yeah, okay. We have to wait one turn for the Knights' lodgings. Fair enough. Fair enough. As you wish, we can go to orders. And we now have, statistically, the strongest army in the world. And given how we're, generally speaking, punching above our weight, with the amount of heroic victories we've been pulling off, um, I would say that this makes it rather impossible for the enemy to match us on the field. Protect the blood of Numenor. <sighs> no. Dark Luke. Ugh, we should probably attack Estelad itself. This is a citadel type place. So we'll need to focus everything on the walls. And in there sits Shivas. He's got some trolls. And then there's Yagluk. He's got some troll catapults. But we can deal with uh, this using mostly cavalry probably actually. I think we can... Yeah, four cavalry units onto this. Should be okay if we can just take care of the trolls, but a few cavalry charges from Knights of the Service 1, and they're toast. Meanwhile, the infantry can just clear out this um, Shiva's fella. Despite all his desert sandiness. I think we can bait them, yeah. I think we can. What you see here is a plan that's been a little bit in the making. Well, ah, actually, we haven't planned this at all. I am just spinning your yarn. What we are really doing is going out on a limb, on an impulsive limb at that. And we're going to break down that gate. Hmm. Yeah, it's a reinforced gate. It's a stronghold, so it's going to take a beating. We want to be there. We want to be accurate. We want to be giving it everything we've got and then a little bit more. Now, chief among the issues we're facing today is also the assailants on screen in the distance. They're coming in with a bunch of reinforcements. And we will want to screen them out. Take them out. Uh, or as many as possible, at least, with our great cavalry. 
because cavalry we do indeed have an abundance. Yeah, it seems we're actually out of range of their towers here, which is uh, very good luck, I would say. Let's hope we can also hit the gate in a very meaningful way. That would be good. So, the volleys will come... They will go hither than John, and our cavalry will battle seems to have turned against us. rush act and halt this to the uh, general adversarial conduct of our foe. Most of them seem to be coming this way. Hmm. Yeah, we'll settle for taking them out. Now we will have them walk a little bit so they can rest. Oh, hello. Yeah, okay. That, that, that was unexpected. So, our dear enemy has decided to just go balls to the wall. Or more um, precisely, balls to the gate. And as such, we've already taken out quite a few of them with the uh, ballisters. <laughs> okay, so we're going to send in our ground troops. Our maneuverables, one might say. Over here, we have trolls and archers and the will of Sauron and all those things. And they're actually all coming this way, it seems. Ex no, yep, they're all coming this way. All coming this way. Hmm, interesting. Well, um, Talon Knights, go straight into the Urex, please. Oh my god, they're just sending everything this way. And I would love to use our uh, ballisters on the trolls, but to be fair, I actually want all eyes on the gate because when they're done running out of it, it'll probably close and then we'll have to take it down again. Uh, okay, how are we doing over here? Everybody resting? Everybody good? Nice. Keep walking forward like a good boy should. Alright, let's get team two in there. Ow! Haven guard against trolls. Well, I mean, if we were to send any against the trolls, the haven guard is not a bad option. But, of course, they're going to take losses. Archers. Just um, deal with the ones that are advantageous for you to shoot at. Knights of the Silver Swan, come this way. Well, you are, of course, already, so that's okay. Good, it's the Haven Guard. They're struggling a bit. But the trolls have started falling, and once they start, they won't stop. He says. With a noticeable amount of hope in his voice. Ah, okay. Now we can probably start bringing down the gate again. 49% though, so we're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's possible. We're going to get him. Okay, let's bring in the wardens to just uh, finish up the trolls. And bring in one unit of pikemen. It's a strange tactic from uh, Odia Narskill fellow over here. He just went all out. Let's concentrate on the cavalry for a little bit. The infantry situation will sort of take care of itself at this point. Yeah, the trolls are dropping like flies now. Good. Well, like some very big l lumbering and uh, inconvenient flies, but flies nonetheless. All archers, bring them down. Troll catapult, bring them down. Ooh, they're getting feisty. Okay, uh, take the flanking maulers. Uh, let's have a look at how our wardens are doing. Ooh, down to seven trolls, but also down to thirty haven guard. So you know. Yeah, but the trolls are going to fall as soon as, as soon as they make contact with our halberdiers, I think. So that'll be good. Um, 
Archers, I think you can be relieved of your current actions. That's fine. Um, your current obligations, as it were. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, that, that pushes everything a little bit. But, uh, well, you certainly can't say that it was a charge without results, but... It's a charge that will probably end up killing a lot of our knights. Mm. Yeah. And over here? Well, we're just about to find out. At least that takes a little bit of... A little bit of the pressure off. And now the Bannister have done what they should. Ooh! And maybe they should just keep firing, actually, because now the Black Albadiers are coming! Yeah. And here... Yeah. Trolls going down. He says. Yeah. Good. Um... You know what? Let's bring our archers over here. And over here. Okay. Let's do some cavalry maneuvering. These Silver Swan have actually held out quite well. I'd be very happy with uh, that survival rate. Okay. Let's see if we can um, force them over here. And we'll see what they do. Over here we have Oh that Yaglug is gone. Okay. Schmaggity doo Okay, so forty one percent of all enemies gone. That's a good initial result, isn't it? And um Ballista Cruise, you can just uh, stop doing what you do. Um, and now we're just going to start moving in their general direction. There are some walls over there that need to be shot. Yeah, shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. I'm especially optimistic about these guys. Maybe they'll even get some experience from shooting all these guys who they are very well placed to deal with. Ooh, look at that. That's bloody beautiful, he says. Good. Okay. Jordan, how are you doing? Well, of course, you're a little challenged. But, I mean, we're actually doing decently well, I would say, because the trolls are basically gone. Um, the general is gone. So pushing them even a little bit will have a massive impact. We're going to do that. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Yeah, that's going to me leave a mark. Mauler's running away. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They don't like it. Good. Yes. They're just all running. Oh, that's good. One does love the collapse of enemy morale. But we need to take care of uh, Sauron's will, of course. So, you guys, get over here. Smash them. Smash the ones that have smashed ye. Oh, here comes an our school. He's very displeased, I would assume. He's opening the gate. The or he's rallying the orcs. Okay, Duron, get out of there. How are we doing over here? We are cleaning house. Good. The infantry may now walk toward the centre. Black of the archers. Yeah, all you guys, you're just gone. <laughs> Good. Yes. I want all of you in there. Uh, and we want uh, the archers as well. Okay. Now, this is an interesting one. Our enemy has arrived.
Got a one track buddy in a graveyard mind. I turned 21 and I don't mind dying. Okay. Um. Hmm. So he's pretty aggressive no of that, uh, the enemy's walls belong to us. Not a school fella. Oh dear, no. Get away from that. We don't want Duron to die to a stray cat um uh, badge the bolt. That would be most displeasing. Essentially we're just gonna walk right into their settlement and um see what they do. Ah, that you're going the wrong way, guys. You're going the wrong way. Thank you. Hello, hello, buddyers. I have come to greet you. Okay, how are we doing here? They're taking the long way around. Okay. Alright then. The battle is very much in our favor. Knights of the Service One. Are you guys ready for your final chock up? Yeah. One should think so. The towers are getting a little nasty, but hopefully we can push back the orcs and uh, stop that. Um. Okay, Temple Wards, we're gonna. We're going to avoid them with our general. We're going to say hello with the Silver Swan. Well on guard, acting moronically, if you will. They have a lot of halberdiers, though. And they're going to be fighting like devils for as long as their Nazgul leader is alive. So, of course, we'll need to do something about that uh, whole uh, Nazgul being alive business. Challenge the whole, oh no, you can't kill them, no, that uh, Gollum was uh, so insistent on in the films. Nope, they're charging this way. Smashing! Haha, <laughs> Shivas is now gone. Okay, so this should do some things to his army. And indeed it does. He was holding them together with his iron will, and, uh, well, now his will isn't really there anymore. Melee troops, your duty, should you choose to accept it, is to just rush through this bloody thing. Okay, team one, uh, get away from the gate. <laughs> they just run away from you on sight now. Brilliant. Brilliant. <clears throat> and we're routing them. We're routing them lovingly. Lovingly routing them. We've come to the point where no towers are doing onto us what we don't want them to do. Shooting us, I mean, shooting us. No towers are shooting us. We have s spent 27% of our force and we have taken out all but very few of the orcs that remain. And the ones that do remain are not going to be 
up to much. Hello, Orcs. You will bring a storm upon them. They're over there. Yes. Just shoot them gently like a loving wind of death. Hit them with your pointy things! Hit them with your pointy things! No, somebody's moving over here. Who's that? Who there? Oh, an orc band. Okay. Fascinating. One wonders what their purpose is. Shoot the molars. Yep, they're not liking it, no. <laughs> Good. I think we can stop your shooting at this point. Send pikes to deal with everybody. Now, the orcs that are running around here, what are they doing and what are... Why are they... Why are they not taking this seriously? Where did they go? Oh, there they went. No, that's only some of them. There should still be a unit somewhere around here, but I can't quite put a finger on it. The map tells us it's here, though. Oh, yeah, there they are. They're just blending into their environment with... Uh, With such grace, you know. Okay. Our men are in command. We've lost control of the castle. Oh no, a single orc has come into the castle. And it's gone. Okay, Duron, um, you should probably get in here. No, no, no. Duron the Fearless has paid with his life because of a bloody tower. Ugh. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. <sighs> okay, well that takes a little bit of the celebration out of things, doesn't it? We're still gonna hold it. We're just gonna sack it. Our foe is utterly vanquished. We definitely did our bit today. Talon Knights, you've done so well. See what Lancers do. Of course, I mean the Silver Swan, just carrying any battle they're in. Good, good, good. Except for Duron's death. That was nasty. And so... 
a climactic battle with a bittersweet outcome. We will repair, we will rebuild, we will smash the bits that we can't use. Ah, oh, we've reached Mount Doom. Jordan had a storied career. Making his name... Well, against the forces of Kand, really, and then... All the way up through the Athelian campaign. He has been a mainstay of... This whole... Show. And now... His part is over. But... Others move on, taking his place. Kamen is still here. And Aranel, the aggressive, now sits in Minas Tirith. From where he can conduct a great retraining of forces. With which he will be more than capable of smashing through Mortor's lines. Estian. Welcome to Kirk Mahur. Orders. Orders. By your command. Maintain order. As you get ready your weapon. Where retraining is plentiful. For those seeking weapons at least. And soon we'll also be retraining the cavalry units that are here. Yeah, both the squires, the Seward Lancers, and the Gondor Cavalry Militia will be retrained next turn. That's good. That's very good. It's quite lovely. In addition, Prince Adrahil. So lovely. Yeah, he'll be heading out. There's a, an. Angry man over there. Maybe he'll want to do something, but uh, even the sliver of forces that will remain at Korondash shall be more than enough for dealing with that particular threat. So, let us gather our preferred troops together. That's almost it, actually. Huh. So many troops left untapped. <laughs> Which one is the last unit, you ask? Hmm. Yeah, we're going to take an extra pikeman unit. Three pikeman units. Yeah, that's pretty good. Plus the Anphalas. And on we march. Hello there. I will not Kush. On you. I will not waste words. Onward. I will not assail the enemies of Gondor. I will not waste words. Some bone raiders. Nah, no problem. No problem. Train all those guys. Yeah, and Ostathiel will be retraining when it applies. You know, when, when it, when it's convenient. No need to do it before. Yeah. Life is good. Life is good around here. We have the projects that we need. It's almost crazy that, you know, that 
At this point in the campaign, you're lucky if an episode will get you through two turns. As you wish. Simply because of the amount of battles and management that uh, this stage in the game entails. But, it's a good time regardless. You know what I think? I think these spies should go somewhere. I shall continue. I shall continue. I shall continue. My lord. My lord. They all have the same movement. Okay. So, Kittlegum needs to be completely open to us. And with Arvin, we will get... Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. So, then we can send this lovely lad over to... Uh, Amu Khan, is that what it's called? I think it is. Something like that. And, judging by this... There should be a road somewhere. Like that. That seems logical, yeah. Yeah, let's send him that way. Ectherian, you also go this way. Lovely. Lovely. Now, did Talajav get a bunch of new... Wow, well, okay. Next time... Yeah, next turn they can move out. With the grace and the speed of a swan. In the sea, of course. No, not in the sea. In a lake. Swans don't really... They're not sea birds. <laughs> uh. Shall we have one more end turn before we go? I think we should. So we end the turn, it seems, on Breda's attack. Well, he'll be welcomed. In the best Ambrothian style we know of. Break their will. We have a city to defend, and we shall defend it very, very well. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the uh, educated guess that this tower thing over here won't really deploy many troops. In case it does, we leave some pikemen. Other pikemen will be left at the gate. Mm -hmm. Alright, um... You can just activate a tower over there, Kelepinthor. I know you might find it a little bit demeaning, but it's just what we got for you today. What have we got here? Oh, hunters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spearmen are fine for that. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Ladders at the walls. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Yeah, the uh, okay. Yeah, the ram comes in. So we were dealing with the cavalry. But I don't think the warlord's guard will be getting all the way up into this because now the towers are focusing on their siege tower, and that's going to be pretty explosive when it falls. Oh, okay. Some will get on. Okay, it's a free-for-all now. Wow, the towers don't really focus on the siege tower at all. Fortunately, our pikemen are actually holding up decently well. And there we go. Just in time for the Warlord's Guard to start to feel like they're actually gaining ground on us. The cavalry, though, they're struggling with the gate. That's good to see. Okay. Guardsmen, get down there. Spearmen, uh, get over there. Just push them a little bit. 
Just, you know, lovingly push them. Push, 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 push. Push those nobles out of here. Let them feel the taste of fear. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Nah. Okay. One survivor. Our foe is utterly Still looks pretty good. The pikemen did what they should. Remember it as the day of our most glorious And I appreciate victory. that. Not the most glorious victory, I think. I'm gonna contradict the speaker there, but uh, pretty fine one regardless. <sighs> Goodbye, Canned. <laughs> We've destroyed them! Indeed we have. And um, so we can just uh, see where we are. Mordor has besieged us a couple of times up here. Eric Estrad gets a nice guild. But of course, it's also gotten a bit of a siege situation. But considering the kind of troops we have in here, I'm confident that we can see them off. Genaltan, he's also a melee guy. Hmm. And this crimp. Hmm, this is an interesting one. We have trolls. They have infantry, and they have beasts. I think we can take them, because we have the Libellum Marines in here, in full number, and we have some good archers as well. I'm gonna, yeah, I think, I think it's okay. Let's grab some of these guys, put them in Western Skidius, see if we can retrain them. We can't yet, but we will. Ah, yes, and then we have these lovely lads. You know, could do like this. Captain of Gondor. Your will, my lord. As you wish. Emerging armies, my lord. Your will, my lord. My lord. Because we do have quite a few forces over here. Ha 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 ha. And then Ms. Ethel can continue building. Oh, let's get rid of the Brawler's Pit, obviously. Dominion Camp, don't need it. Good, good, good. Um, library, please. And then an Armourer. Do we want any of these in Minas Ithil? I suppose we can retrain weapons in here. Well, when we get the guild. But that's likely to happen next turn, so... All that goes in here. Get a free upkeep on some of it. It's good. It's very good. Can we get these into Kandos? Yes, we can. We can get them retrained as well. Can we get both of them retrained? Mm, nope. Not quite. But anyway, getting these retrained. Still a good start. You know what, let's get the Numenorean armor as well. Now that we're here. Kalanad, you still just, yeah, building your university. And Mordor is coming. Okay. Uthak. Um... It's not like I'm going to say you're cancelled or anything, but, um... I want to cancel your progress, that's for sure. Smack you down! And build a tower. And then, to end raid we go. They have beasts in there, but, like I said, I'm actually pretty confident that we can deal with them. Now, construction, Dolamroth. Going from strength to strength, let's get some siege units going. Um, Ethelin. Yeah, you can retrain some mariners for armor. For sure. Krupp Mahur. 
Oh yes. Get all that stables goodness going. As you wish. Then we can grab those that are not currently retrainable in there. And we can show them the door so we can get new ones in. Oh. Uh, we also need to get these ones out. It'll be a bloody party once that guy gets to go out. Oh yeah, and Chelka, you, we need to retrain some folks after the last battle. But uh, that'll also come easier when the guard barracks is in. And it will be very soon. And then we can get our spy to go and have uh, a little bit of an exploration of the area. The area. Hmm. Amenethel. Send troops to Ostathel. And after this Princess Stables, I'm just going to go into general development mode, I think. Calandros. You got your thing, you're going to get another thing. Lin here. Oh yeah, you, you have some stuff to retrain. Oh, you didn't get the lancers. Ah, of course, because that's a different building. Ah, now I remember. Yeah, the princess... Yeah, it's a different building tree. So they don't reactivate the replenishment of troops for each other. Looks to me like we're going to need a militia garrison in here. gonna help with everything from public order to defense near there getting married oh nice to uh, Aglarven mm -hmm. okay procedural name generation giving some interesting results These him guards can go to Imthala, I think. Surely. Radaborn, should we wait for the Seaward Lancers? Mm, maybe. But we could send all the infantry out ahead of time. So we could send them to Krupmahur. Where fewer troops reside. And hello, Novistia. <laughs> Can't you just have so many armies in this area? It's kind of crazy. What are you going to do with them all? Well, I'm telling you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go right through you. And then um, I'll just keep... Retraining good troops for the defense of Kalandash. And you're going to watch in awe of the development we we're able to achieve in this land. You thought you mastered it. We are the masters now. And then, I do remember Talajaf. We have a mission here. These guys need to step out on their own and do stuff. Let us set up camp here. Meldir, you're going to do me proud. You're going to go to Krypmahur as well. Maybe we'll actually keep Alavon in Ambrun for all the time being. What's the situation in Dolam Ross for retraining? Yeah, it's fine. But Mithrast. Yeah, we need to take a look at this. Talon Knights and Umbrothian Pikemen, for sure. Then, Cavalry, du jour. Out you go.
charge to exhaustion, continuing later. Then we have some space in Methrast for retraining some troops, so okay. to Methrast they go. Please go to a fort. These also go to... No, they should go to Methrast, probably. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And these Knights of Atheland, they'll be going with Eranur. Nine leveled experience on Knights of Atheland. It's a good thing to have. <laughs> At your service. At your service. Durthor. As you command. Tomorrow's yeah, you probably can't trade that watchtower you're on, but you can certainly go up here and explore the wine markets. Or of Dorwinion. Yes. Oh, there are no roads around here. That explains a few things. Yep, 102% chance of getting access. And that's basically where we're going to leave it. So, we've taken Ur Estelar. And that is a good one. That's a good one. We've defended ourselves and we have prepared and sent off Adrahil on a mission that he will never forget because he'll be heading into the heart of darkness. Also known as Dulat Sakand. Have a good one, everybody. Be kind to yourselves, good to uh, others. And I will see you soon.